Hello everybody, welcome back to the Minecraft World Team Build Tutorial, and today we are making the British Churchill 1, and I never exactly was able to make a design for this beforehand that actually looked good, until this design showed up, and I'm actually very proud of this one. I mean, the turret, yeah, I like the turret, I, I very much like the turret, I should say, but it being small and then the tank itself being kind of short kind of hindered my ability to make much of an interior. But I tried to cram it as much into the interior as possible, as realistic as possible. So, this is what you're going to get. I hope you all enjoy, and let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, before we get right into the build, I want to remind you guys of something, though. This is the final tank I have in storage. So, I'm going to be making new tanks. I'm actually going to be getting on work. I'm going to get to work on one right after this video. But, if you guys have any tank requests, any tanks that you want to see, and hopefully soon... Give me the requests now, because if you give them to me now, I can get them done soon. Just saying. If you have the request, give me the, give me the request now. This is your only other chance to try and do it before tank production starts again. Alright, that's all I had to say, so I guess now we'll get right into the tutorial. So what we're going to want to start off with is stone slab, sandstone slab, stone brick stair, and stone brick slab. Okay, so I'll start on the right side of the tank, just as always. And what we'll do, it's actually going to confuse me a little bit with these uh, stairs. I'm just going to grab a placeholder block. Place one. Actually, no, I don't even need a placeholder block. Whatever. All right, so three blocks in. Place a stair like this. And then bring it back by, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, yes, you want 11 stairs going lengthwise, and then we're going to skip a space of 3, and we're going to copy that same design onto this side. Oh, not like that. Okay, there we go. Now what we'll do is we'll take our stone brick slab, we're going to place a top slab on the back of these back stairs, all the way to the back of the tank, come to the front of the tank, place holder, top slab, place holder, top slab in front of the tracks, just like that. And now what we'll do is we'll grab our sandstone slab, and right one block behind the end of the track, right here, I'm going to place three sandstone slabs, followed by another three. And now we're going to take stone slab and bring it all the way, I want to say, to about... Oh, just seeing it from the other side, I think just go back to there. Yeah, okay. And that's kind of as simple as it is for layer one. There's not a whole lot to do on layer one. So now, uh, moving on to layer 2, what we can do now is on the very front of the tracks, on the top of the slab, I'm going to place some upright stairs facing the back, come all the way to the back, and reverse that, just like that. Simple as that. Now let me get a look at these tracks. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to want to do now, actually, is place a upside-down stair like this on the back of the tracks. Or, like, well, not on the back of the tracks, but you see how it's supposed to be placed like that. And now we're actually going to curve it and bring it... Let's see where we have to actually bring it up to. Okay. We're not going to curve it at the front. We'll just bring it all the way up like that. Just to kind of keep it from... Like how the rest of my tanks have gaping holes in the sides. Where you can actually see into the interior from the outside. We don't want that. So, right, I was testing that on this one. Curve. Nope. Wrong curve. Alright, there we go. Now that's curved. Now after doing that, we can take our wooden trap door and signs. What we'll do is we'll place a sign here, blank, and then we're going to run wooden trap doors all the way back to here and close them all. Just like that. Copy onto this side. Just like that. Okay. Now what I suppose we will do is... I guess we use sandstone. I guess we'll just fill the whole thing up. Up to about... Just here on top of these stone slabs. And then we'll carve it out later. Like we do on average. Now we'll take our rails. Actually no, that's for layer 3. No, excuse me, we don't want to do that. That's for layer 3. Um, we'll take our oak wood fence, 
place too, like that. And we'll grab our wooden trap door, place two there, and two there, and flip them up. And it just gives that a neat little look. Um, is that it? I think that's about it for layer two. Yes, that is. Okay, now moving on to layer three. Now what we can do is we can grab ourselves some rails. And right here, we're just going to run the rails all the way up to the front of the tank, just like that. But as for the other side, we're going to want to do something a little bit different on that. Because, and it's kind of a must-have, if you don't want there to be an odd-looking turret, it's kind of a must-have. So you want to place back four rails on the front right, place four, skip two, and then you can finish that off, just like that. You'll see why in a minute, unless you, saw, unless you already saw over here. Now what we'll do is we'll take our sandstone stairs, we'll actually carve up a little bit here, place sandstone stair there, and in here actually what we're going to do is grab, let's see, was it just, okay, we're, we're going to want to place a furnace right here, no, there we go, right there, and then get an anvil, place two anvils, one there and one there for the engines, and then just place the carpet in just like that kind of order. After doing that, crouch and we're going to place some trapdoors on top of the engine. And you kind of have the rear of the thing, you kind of have the rear of the tank already done. Now I guess we'll grab a chest. Alright, we're going to place a double chest here. And then on top of the track here, place another double chest. If you look at the Churchill's turret, at least the stock turret on World of Tanks, you'll see what I'm saying. You'll see why that's there. Alright. Uh, we'll grab our sandstone slayer, sandstone stairs, excuse me, place one there, like that, and then skip two spaces, turn it, like 90 degrees, and then make it go in like that. Oh, let's see what we have to do. Yes, we do. We have to place another one right here at the same angle as this one. Come up with the sandstone, and we're just going to kind of just fill up everything there. Just like that, all full blocks. But what we will do, just to get this out of the way, I guess, we'll carve that real quick. Place the sandstone stair faced like this, so that the view, like the little open parts right here. We'll grab our dark, we'll, I mean, we'll grab our oak wood fence, place one there and one there to make the main gun. And then behind that, we'll place another one to make the mantlet because when I'm, I guess that can kind of start our interior. Making the mantlet was had to be one of the hardest parts for this. Now we'll do, I guess we can just cut into it, I don't really consider it an, an extra layer. We'll just take our carpet, we're kind of just going to cover up the whole top of the turret with a couple of exception points. We're going to break that space right there, and we're actually going to break that space right there, I guess, just so we can start working on it. Uh, place trap doors like this, make sure that they open and are, fl and are flush with the sandstone, just like that. And now, how did I have them open towards the rear? On top of these uh, trapdoors, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to place them in the way that they'll open towards the rear. And that's as simple as that. Uh, but we will grab our, our uh, button, place that right there. But, oh, wait a minute. Ah, I had a feeling that was actually what I had to do. I had a feeling. All right, nope, okay. A classic, my camera bugging out. We're actually going to break out these blocks now. Break all of these out. That I believe... You know, actually, this is why I cracked the tanks open. Like an egg. Okay, I guess... It does stay like that. Alright. Alright, you're going to take a trap door and do it the same way you already did it here. And then on top of that, we'll, on top of this trap door, we'll just place a brown carpet and that kind of makes a little bit of the interior we actually have to we actually want to break that block and we can get through the mantlet here All right we're gonna break the mantlet place it actually upside down like this instead that's how that's how I messed up there and then we can replace the gun mantlet and then on top of that we'll do that place our button back we're gonna place the sign here which would be where the radio is and then on top of that, I put a brown carpet. And that's about it for the turret. Yeah, yeah. We'll just grab our iron bar. This is all we have to do. 
to go ahead and place them like that. Place the carpet back there. And yeah, you're basically done with the turret, but we'll have to add a couple more of the inner details after in a second. Grab our wooden trap door. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter how they open, but I pref preferably have them open up like that. They're supposed to be like little hatches there. And I think I think the exterior is actually done. Yep, that's all of the exterior. Now we can just go in here and take a look at a couple other extra details. Ammunition rack. Uh, okay. Chart it down in my brain. What we're going to do now is if we come in, if we can get into the tank, we're gonna break these two blocks, place it upside down stair, face them that way, and then place it like that so that it curves a little bit. Break that block right there and put a chest there as your ammo rack. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, ammo rack. Place another one there as some more ammo. And then place a switch there. And this was the most you could actually extract out of the size out of the size of this. This is that's the most of an interior that you can extract. So, yeah, that's actually it for the tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, get me your tank requests. You have very little time. So, better get on that because I'm making the first tank after this. Well, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.